Carlos, congratulations. Um, I know you're on a team that's doing a lot of big things right now, but for you personally, getting into the UFC, I'm sure, is a big moment. So, so how are you feeling right now? Yeah, it's definitely a big moment for me. Um, it's been a long time coming, and I do have an amazing team. So uh, I'm grateful that I have uh, my boys who, who are my who are my um, my speakers for me when I'm in the, when I'm in the octagon, and uh, they definitely did all a great deal in, in, in building my confidence doing this trip. So I'm grateful. Yeah. I wonder what it's like working with that squad of guys preparing for yourself. Because right, you're just two fights into your you're into your MMA career when you step in here, but knowing that you're in the gym every day with guys of that quality, I mean, does that does that help you know that I'm not guessing I might be ready here? Like I know I'm ready here. Yeah, 100. percent I'm, I'm four and but uh, now five and zero, <clears throat> five and zero. <laughs> so, um, but no, it's 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 definitely a, a, a confidence booster when I have my my teammates who do exceptionally well, and um, yeah, I'm, I'm I'm looking forward to what's what's next, but uh, it's going to be a challenging road, so it, it won't stop here. I'll head back home. I have got a quarantine to do for two weeks back home in New Zealand, and um, I'll focus. I'll focus on uh, building to the, to the top. Clearly, you had a reputation coming in here. Uh, he didn't show much respect to that reputation, came straight at you. Was that the type of fight that you were expecting from him? I think it definitely was the, the type of fight that I was expecting. He, he's uh, a, a bit older, and um, I think he had a bit of... Well, I, I felt his energy when I, when I um, was in the, in the uh, weigh-ins, and um, I knew he was going to come out wanting to, wanting to get that contract. And I was lucky enough to have the, the side the side that I have to, to remind me how to, uh, to pick my shots and uh, take my time. You touched on it being, uh, I apologize, 5-0. and oh. uh, Still very early in your MMA career though, right? I mean, is that, I mean, how do you see your career progressing at the highest level of the sport? I mean, do you feel like you're a guy that can come in and, you know, run through the ranks in quick fashion? Or do you feel like you still want to develop a little bit and, and, and feel yourself a little bit more? Well, I, I, know, I know I have it in me to, to become, uh, to, well, to be in the top, but uh, it'll just mean uh, a lot of, lot of training and a lot of uh, improvement for myself. So I won't come in here thinking that this is my, you know, my, my octagon. But uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna work my way towards, towards it. Yeah. There's another guy on your team that had a pretty extensive kickboxing background and did okay in, in mixed martial arts once he stepped in. Um, I'm curious. I mean, do you want to be linked to Israel and, and, and you know, kind of compared to him as you make your way up, or do you feel like, hey, I hope people don't, don't make that and just let me do my own thing? Oh, well, we're we're all a team, and we're we're a team where we have the culture that we have, and uh, you know we resemble with each other, so it's good. Last thing for me, give me an idea of what makes sense for your USC debut. Um, I mean, do you want to wait until maybe they go back to Abu Dhabi in January, February, so you don't have to mess with this whole quarantine thing, or are you willing to make the trip back over here to Vegas and get in soon? Is there a name that makes sense? What makes sense for your debut? Well, it, it, it's just uh, myself. I'll go back home and. Um, I'll, I'll get back to training. There's, uh, like I said, it's, it, it doesn't in here. I'll, I'll go back and, and focus on, on working and improving, and, um, and this is it now. So now that I've got, this is my, this is my full-time job now. So I'm gonna focus and go hard at it. What's up, man? You know, it's mentioned on the broadcast that you've, you've had a history in other athletics. I was wondering, has that helped you transition into this sport in particular, or is this something that was totally new to you? Uh, definitely, it's uh, rugby. Rugby was my well, the national sport, and uh, I think it definitely helped with um, with my abilities in the octagon today. Cool. Uh, we've heard Dana White describe you as it. We heard Laura Sanko describe you as it. You're a very handsome man. Does that therefore mean it's important for you to go and beat Luke Rockhold and become the most handsome light heavyweight in the UFC? <laughs> I won't go that far. I don't know. <laughs> Fair Congrats, man. Well Thank you so much.